Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sam Lega here representing Team JVS. I am back here again for another TV show season review. Now, I opted out of reviewing every single episode because I actually have had these episodes for quite some time. It's just war season came up, couldn't get through it, and I finally basically watched it in two days' time because they dropped all 10 episodes. So whatever I say about this show... You can go and immediately watch right now on Amazon Prime. It is completely available to you, and the name of the show is called Tell Me Your Secrets. But let's go ahead and just break this down. First off, let me set the atmosphere for you really quick. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the synopsis really quick. Tell Me Your Secrets is an intense, morally complex thriller starring Lily Rabby, American Horror Story, Amy Brenningham um, from The Leftovers, Hamish Linklater from the Legion and Enrique, I'm going to get his last name completely wrong, Maricano from The Blacklist. The series revolves around a trio of characters, each with this mysterious and troubling past. Emma, which is Rabbi's character, is a young woman who was once looked into the eyes of a dangerous killer. John, uh, played by Linklater, is a former serial predator, uh, desperate to find redemption, and Mary. Um, Brennan Mann is a grieving mother obsessed with finding her missing daughter. Okay, so I'm going to show you one thing. So let's go ahead and back this up really quick. I'm going to lay it out for you guys. This is a, this is a spoiler discussion. I, well, I, I, you know what? I think I can do this without spoiling it, so I'm going to do my best, okay? <laughs> this show started off, right, with the main character, we first hear her name is something completely different. And then it gets established later on as it's just Emma. But you know that that's not her real name. Because when it starts, Emma is in prison. She's got a black eye. And she is greeted by the same exact grieving mother that they addressed in this synapses. Mother is kind of like, I know you know where my daughter is. Please help me. I know he did something to her. Please just give me anything. She, she's just completely mute. Doesn't say anything. And then it transfers years later, she's getting let out. And um, the person that is helping her, it looks like her PI or uh, parole officer, or if it's uh, possibly somebody else, we don't really know. We just know the very first words he says to her is, we're going to blend in. This is your new life. You're in witness protection. Please, whatever you do, do not get around any young girls. And from that point, this show for me personally, it felt like very evil, very dark, and very eerie. And part of the way that this actually did work and establish for me that kind of set this show apart from some things is the eeriness with every single character every single character every single character interaction felt disgusting there's aspects of every single character you kind of just like i'm gonna pick apart this character let me break this character down wait no this is not a good person this is not something it's not a person that you would want to be around um when you get the understanding of the character john which you're looking at right here knowing that he was a former predator serial predator at that supposedly newly reformed and then his connection with the mom and what she's proposing him to do the way that she's using him it becomes something entirely different where you're realizing that not only is the main character somebody that is potentially a threat uh and an endangerment to other people but everybody else in this show because what you don't know is that the main character she has a past her past is connected to this young man right here who was a former serial killer. Like he killed upwards to, I believe, nine different women and brutally murdered them. And on top of that, she seemingly has no memory or recollection of his accounts of violence, nor does she accept them. She refuses to accept what has been happening what was underneath like her roof. And you don't know at any point whether she's telling the complete truth. And that's where the show shines. The very first 
three to five to four episodes, I was riveted. Like I legit, it was hard for me to watch because I felt sick. You know, you got a person that's a predator, it's a sexual predator at that, that is being unleashed because of certain circumstances. You have this girl, the main character, as innocent as she appears to be, you don't really know her. And the first thing that she does in the very first episode, you see her at this diner. You see her connected with this young black African-American girl. And it appears that they start to have a friendship through circumstance, through terrible circumstances. She defends this young girl um, who's getting kind of bullied. And you realize two different things in that one. One, the main character, Emma, is not Emma. She is somebody completely different because she is very violent. Like she she just goes off. She goes completely off. And when she goes off, you realize, I don't know this person. I don't know who she is. And on top of that, the second side of that is she decides to e what's the word? I ain't gonna say illicit. She decides to connect with this young girl very quickly, like just just connects with her. Like she just is on top of her. She's around her. Like the young girl attached herself to her. And it's just very weird and disgusting feeling because this is a young girl. This is a girl at eight. She's like 18 or 17. And this is a grown woman who just got out of prison who just connected with her. And so you know that there's something fundamentally wrong with that interaction. And also in connection to This woman was connected to a serial killer and you don't know whether or not, you know, she was connected or she she wanted it. You don't you don't know. All I knew that while I was watching this, I was like, I felt sick to my stomach. On top of that, you have this character right here who is her psychiatrist um, and he kind of comes off as you know, very overly protective and very possessive and controlling. And he's got his own relationship. He's got his own marriage. But there's a lot of darkness and shade in his backdrop. You don't know who he is. You don't know if he can trust him. You just know that the main character is unraveling. Her mind is literally unraveling. And you don't know what kind of person she is. And I had an uneasiness most of the first half of, which was, the, the crux and the good part about this series. Now, I haven't gone through all the different characters and I don't feel like I need to. I mean, some of the main characters, like the 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 serial killer that was her ex-boyfriend, I don't want to go into his backstory because things do shift and change with the tide. Just like this character, John, like you don't know what he's, his true intention is. You just know his involvement. You do know the mother, um, <laughs> prayed by ben, Brennan Man. Um, she's off as well. She is obsessed with the idea that not only is her daughter still alive, but that something's being kept from her, and she's willing to do anything to get where she needs, or what she needs, or who she needs at any given time. Um, she honestly plays a dual role. Sometimes she feels very much so like the antagonist as much as the victim and the protagonist. Um, and that's, it it circles through that with multiple different characters, which I do like and love in terms of the progress of this actual show. Now, this is where I start to go into my critiques with this show. Around like the fifth episode, the main character is consistently interacting with different characters. She's interacting with this young girl who becomes very obsessed very early with her. And it's a very unhealthy friendship. And you can tell that there's a circumstance going on within the town that the character Emma is in that's that's really off. But they decide from a written standpoint to keep this character like just kind of like at arm's length at all times, which again, this is another young girl, which made me very uncomfortable with the way that this show and the dynamics and the darkness of the show. But they just sideline her and they decide to shoehorn the main character into this romantic situation, which is normally okay, but it takes away from the elevation of the actual progression of her, 
the main character's story. It kind of like there's every moment where it's like it's progressing, it's getting darker, she's unraveling things. They kind of take a step back. On top of that, I feel like the show pulls some punches towards the back half of the season. Some answers to questions that, in my personal opinion, could have been left at a very dark um, layout. Now, not to say that the, the last few episodes are very dark. It is is very unsettling. But the very last episode left me feeling like, man, this is just like, I don't know. Like It, it just felt very strange to me because this main character is not, you know, it's not what you think it is. She's not, you don't understand who she really is. And the weight this kind of put behind everything that's happening around her to me doesn't justify who she is, you know. And it might be that you know this show does include like a possibility to maneuver into more seasons, but it's just really unbearably unbelievable to me. Um, some of the decisions that they make in the back half of the season, in the progression of some of these characters' storylines, and the way that the character evolves and the way that certain things and ramifications of things happen just out of nowhere. Like there's some unbelievably ridiculous things that happen. Questions that really don't make any sense why they shouldn't have been answered a long time ago. Um, some situations that happen to characters that they, they really, in my opinion, shouldn't have made it out of in any way, shape or form makes no sense. I can't accept it. I'm um, very unbelievable. And then again, you know, for the first four episodes, there was this, this aura of darkness and maliciousness and like sensual temptation that was just gut wrenching to me. And it was not only implied, it was shown, but then you get to the back half of the season and they just decide to not show it, not show the darkness that's really there, not show the ramifications of what really happened. And they just kind of pulled the punches. And I'm just kind of like left with like, you know, you tease me with all this feeling of dread that I'm feeling most of this show to leave it at a lackluster finish to me. Like, it just felt like the show was not only darker than what it was presenting, it was better than this, in my personal opinion. And I just felt like towards the back half of the season that I, I was left not pleased personally. I, I felt like it should have been something completely different than what we actually got. And unfortunately, it detracted my full viewing experience as the show as a whole. Whereas initially, this show was in line to me being like 8.5, maybe a 9 out of 10. It left me with this leaving it at like a 6.5 or 7 out of 10, unfortunately. And it's not, I mean, the actors are amazing. Like the actors, the main actress, bro, she can cry on a dime. Like she, she's a amazing actress. Um, the ramifications of some of the things that the other characters were put in, uh, like the character John or the mother, um, were definitely heavy, were definitely real, were definitely very visceral. Um, again, the character Mary, I, I don't know if she was a protagonist or antagonist. I know that everybody in the show did some terrible things. And then some characters didn't. And uh, the way that the scales change throughout don't merit the way that the last episode ends to me. And that's where I had to kind of detract. But this is a good viewing experience for the first five episodes specifically. And if you feel this level of like goosebumps or like uneasiness or like sick to your stomach, that is a part of the immersive experience that I feel like they should have kept. And it loses this, it, it loses this weight towards the back half of the season, in my personal opinion. But I want you guys to let me know, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, do you think the 6.5 or 7 out of 10 uh, rating is merited? I've heard a lot of people say that this is one of the best shows. And it is really good, but I felt like it should have been. It could have been. You know, it could have taken it as far as they really wanted it to. And I feel like, I don't know if it was a transition of writers or a transition of um, the way that this was kind of uh, maneuvered. Um, but I do feel like something along the way was just pulled back.
And I really feel like they should have just went for it because that's everything that they had been pointing me towards was really just going towards. And I just said there was a character I felt like was just used as a plot device. It was a it was a, a police officer. I don't think he was needed. I don't think that he helps the narrative. I think that he, to me, was kind of like a token um, excuse to justify the main character's interactions in and actions with people. Uh, whereas instead, this could have been a very uneasy thing. Because there's some things that they imply about in the flashbacks with the main character uh, of you know people that she befriends and people that she interacts with and why. And on top of that, with those flashbacks, there's one specific thing that I can't bring up in this of a of a relationship and an interaction that they don't talk about. They don't infer. They don't bring up at all. And I don't know why they chose to do that from a narrative standpoint. It just sounded like it just was there, but they didn't do anything with it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later on. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Have a best one, guys.